Coach City News with Eddie Baranek. How are you? Good. How you doing, Steve? Everything all right? Doing great, man. How, how you? did the show went tonight? Show went well. Did you have fun? I had fun. I shot a lot of it. I'm going to post it on my uh, YouTube page, Culture City Detroit. Hell yeah. It might return to the block site almost, but uh, uh, how do you think it went well for you tonight? Well, Steve, I'll tell you what. It's good when people hang out and it's... I don't know. What the hell do you want to hear? <laughs> I don't know, but... Is it, uh, do you have more fun performing with your friends uh, yeah. during gigs, yeah. gigs like this one? I like it. I like it when... Um, well, I think that's all what it is. You know, like, in a way, you got to be friends first. It's like Carlton. Yeah. It's like I wouldn't just, like... I'm, I'm friends with him, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm friends with the guy first, you know what I mean? I wouldn't play music with him just to play... Be you know what I mean? You play you play music with people you're friends with. All right. What was your favorite set of Tonight, by the way? <laughs> Why, of course, any song I was on. But what was your favorite? Oh, well, what was your favorite? I don't know. You know I, I think can't remember the, either, man. I, th I think I'm already looking forward to next year. Yeah. Uh, next year you're playing for one. I think this is a perfect flavor for the holiday show that lasted 10 years until they stopped doing it a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not trying to replace that because I know Feeney did a good job. I'm merely just trying to have my own fun, you know? I know. Uh, now, this is based out of the Last Waltz, the brilliant documentary about the band, the Firewall Tour. And I have seen it once, you've seen it many times. Yeah. What drove you with the Last Waltz to do this Christmas-themed version of the Last Waltz by well, the band? Well, you're right, I am obsessed with the Last Waltz, and I am obsessed with the band. But my good friend John, you know, him and I... You know, every now and then we share a slice of bacon, and it just so happened, like Lady and the Tramp, we were each on one end of bacon, and when we met in the middle at that slice of bacon, yeah. he said to me, why don't we do the Christmas waltz? And I was like, I just wanted to finish that piece of bacon, you little piece of shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, don't say shit. I can't say shit, yeah. Oh, one more question. What was next for the uh, sites, your band? Well, Steve, new record, 2014. What about you? What's new for you? No, nothing. I'm just asking you the question. What about Zach? Uh, Ask Zach. Oh, hi, Zach. What's up? <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, you have a new book out. Yes. You have a new book coming uh, out about the last tour you did, right? Yes. Yes. Taken Alive. Uh-huh. Why do you want to do a book about the tour of uh, one of the surviving rock bands of the Detroit garage scene? Well, you know, I was like... I think there's not enough books out about Rock Journal. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I don't know, man. I just thought it'd be a cool different release other than a record. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Harry, and uh, Merry Christmas. Good to see you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care, brother. All right. Bye-bye.